Hey, this is Cool Trains in Montreal, and I'm here at Point Claire. This is the Treads Canadienne. Here we have um, St. John's Boulevard, way, way over there in the distance. And there is the gantry. It is now traversed uh, St. John's Boulevard and is working up towards um, Fairview Point Claire. And here it is in the distance. And in the foreground here is the the uh, Fairview Station, I guess, or what you would call the uh, Point Claire Rem Station. So here is where the uh, westward expansion from Bras Franc had begun, this gantry, and it's about to hook up with the existing work that was done by the, the gantry that was working its way towards um, Cédard de Bellevue. So here, when it hooks up with this, that section will be one complete section from Bois Franc at least, all the way here and all the way to um, Saint Anne de Bellevue as far as they've gone. So I'm gonna walk along here, along the service road. And you, you can see the station as it is progressing. And this station, as far as I know, is the largest in terms of progress made here you can see they've got you know the glass work platforms are finished there is a beginning of a superstructure around those platforms so i would say that this station has come along a, a long way and is probably the most progressed of all the west island uh, rem stations so far because Sunnybrook has nowhere near this um, completion. And the same with uh, the Desor station. It's also just platforms, and they're just at the beginning part of putting in the stairs and all of this. So here you can see a lot. This is site storage. Too bad the fence is in the way. It's too early to tell what's what in terms of the finishes. The only thing that seems very clear is that there's glass there and escalators. And you'll see that in a minute. Across the street here. I'm gonna go now. So this would be a covered um, platform section. Probably they'll put glass there. You can see there's steel work. Just starting to cover with glass. It's very surprising that they put it here, this far away from St. John's Boulevard. Here you can see concrete blocks, masonry blocks. So some of this will be the finishes of the build of the building itself. Some grounds. So we'll have some brown complementing this glass curtain. Here you can see. That brown is actually concrete here, panels. It's hard 
to uh, get a really good view of it from here. It's too close, really. The Day Source Station and the Sunnybrook Station will have a similar look. And here you see the rim tracks exiting the station. And continuing all along here, along the 40. There you can see some of the ductwork. So this part will be paneled in. It's very possible they'll just use ground paneling here too. Although I do remember there is a, a sketch, an artist's conception of what this will look like. So I would go after that. But it is interesting here to see, look, look at how big the ductwork is. That's for the ventilation. So here's the track, the concrete um, slabs is finished. I think they are finished all the way as far as St. Anne de Bellevue, but I will go there and check it out. And here you can see what looks like uh, where workers would um, kind of stand for maintenance in case they want to have the trains running but also have crews kind of like an emergency area and so I can just continue along here and just give it a one last look at the other side because you'll be able to see a little better see there so that's the mechanical work in there I'm not sure where they're going to put an elevator in here maybe on the other side So this section is not actually going to be the first section to open. This will be the last part of the last of it, I think. The first section slated to open will be from the South Shore to Central Station, I think, and I read somewhere in the third quarter of 2022. I think that's what they were saying. In any case, I think this is coming along really well. And apart from this being very far from St. John's Boulevard, I would say this is looking pretty good. And it is rather close to Fairview, so that's fine with me. Again, it's a little puzzling why they put it out here, but it is what it is. I would have liked it a little closer to St. John's Boulevard, but Perhaps they didn't have the land, perhaps Cadillac like Fairview wasn't willing to give it up. So, I'll leave you with this image and remind you that I'd like you to please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal if you like what you see. And I'll give you more content of the REM as it is being constructed. Have a good day!